there is a race none can win. No matter your skill or execution. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. No matter how hard you try. But if instead of looking to win, you approach it differently. If you control everything you can, while accepting anything you can't. If you disregard any and all opposition, Focusing solely on your own way. If, whenever you need to, you don't hesitate to restart the clock. And leave to others the counting of its seconds. You may come to realize that, actually, it never was a race to begin with. And if it isn't a race, then you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. The Cosmograph Daytona. As electric vehicle performance becomes more powerful, so do our tires. Electrified anger. Hangu Tire. Ion. Electrified Hangu Tire. As electrified vehicle driving becomes quieter, so do our tires. Electrified Hangu. Hangu tire. Ion. Electrified Hangu tire. The future is open to those who take new turns, turning stops into new starts, turning mobility into journeys. Turning driving into experience. Turning performance into innovation. Turning brakes into energy. Turning energy into inspiration. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Baku, Azerbaijan, it's time to celebrate the very best of motorsport from the past 12 months. Coming to you from the historic capital of the Land of Fire, we're almost ready to hit the ignition switch on tonight's gala celebration as we honor this year's champions at the FIA prize giving of 2023.
tortuous rock special stage is between the 192 crew as the rally heads off on the summit of the mountain. Well, well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2023 FIA prize giving. We finally made it to the biggest night in motorsport, and it's a true pleasure to be coming to you from the incredible city of Baku, where tonight we crown our champions of 2023. My name is Darren Adetossier. And I'm Harry Benjamin, and what a pleasure it is to come from this beautiful location, the famed land of fire, Azerbaijan. And what a pleasure it is to welcome you into to this venue and to those watching around the world on our live stream broadcast. Sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Oh yeah, and we do have a fabulous show for you tonight. One which wouldn't be possible, however, without the support of some amazing organisations here in Baku. So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to thank the incredible hosts, the Azerbaijan Automobile Federation and its president, Anar Alakbarov. Yes. Executive power of Baku City. Baku City Circuit and at the Haydar Aliyev Centre. Thank you so much. Fantastic work. And if we can keep the round of applause going, please, to thank our partners, Rolex, Hankook and Brembo. Oh yeah, there we go. Another round of applause to them. Thank you very much. Now, it's been an incredible year for FIO Motorsport around the world. And tonight we have an amazing cast of champions with us and some record-breaking achievements to celebrate. And to launch those celebrations, we have something very special for you. Arranged by composer and pianist Taral Mamadli and featuring the ensemble of Azerbaijan National Instruments, this is FIA in the Land of Fire. Here we are, seven heroes of the annual FIA prize giving ceremony. In racing, they say that your car goes where your eyes go, and your eyes brought us to the city of winds. This is a place where history meets modernity, where the future honors the past, where East and West speak in a common language, where straight roads are for fast cars, turns are for fast drivers, where the fire gets along with the water and the wind caresses the earth, where the 
speed is in the style of development. We have made a fantastic route to meet with you tonight. But first, we behave in a manner which is accepted in these ancient lands. We give the floor to the elder generation. Amazing performance! Thank you so much. Fantastic. All right, let's give them another huge round of applause. Well, I think we're really truly ready for some motorsport awards now. I think so. Let's kick things off uh, at the very beginning of a driver's career with the Mondokart.com FIA Karting World Championships. Now, karting is the purest form of motorsport. It's a discipline where young racers learn skills that can set them on the path to greatness. And many of tonight's champions, of course, got their start in karting. And in 2023, we definitely saw some future stars being born.
Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. That was a round, round of applause, 100%. An outstanding uh, year in karting, the backbone of every driver's motorsport career. Absolutely, and here to present this year's champions with their trophies is a man who's gone from the very top of the world in karting to the very top in Formula One. It's three times FIA Formula One world champion. Please put your hands together for Max Verstappen. Hello, welcome Max. Welcome, welcome Max, great to see you. Now, uh, we'll be chatting to you a bit later on as well, I'm sure. But right now, let's focus on karting. Can you remember that far back? What were your fondest memories? And do you, does Christian let you get into a kart these days? Oh, uh, I have a lot of friends in go-karting, um, but I haven't driven, let's say, a proper go-kart for a couple of years now. I think I've done it quite a lot when I was younger. Uh, but yeah, that's where it all starts, you know, and you, uh, you try to, of course, win everything you can and when you win a world championship you know you're so proud uh you know to achieve that so it's, it's great to see you know the guys uh, standing here right now absolutely and on that note let's welcome our karting world champions ladies and gentlemen from belgium okay junior champion dries van langendonck okay champion karel kutzkoff and from italy kz champion paolo ippolito And there we go, Max, if you will, to our first yep. champion. Yeah. Love check stuff. which one it was. Check, <laughs> check which one it is. Our young karting stars. There you go. And for the final trophy. Fantastic. Uh, thank you, Max. Congratulations to all of you. Now, Max, before you, uh, you fly off, you won something similar at this uh, type of age, and then your next step up was Formula 3 machinery. Have you got any tips for our young stars here? Yeah, uh, don't stress about it too much, you know. Uh, you know that you can drive very well, but uh, of course a car is quite different to a go-kart, but take your time, uh, enjoy it, you know, most of all, and work hard. Absolutely. Great advice. Thank you, Max. And Dries, I come to you next. I mean, what an amazing year you had. Looking ahead into 2024, what have we got in store? Um, yeah, I mean, keep working hard. I think I'll do another year of junior, maybe step up to senior in the end of the year. Um, yeah, um, just keep working hard, keep enjoying my time here. And yeah, that's just the key. Amazing. Well, well done for all of your hard work this year. Ladies Brilliant. and gentlemen, let's give another big round of applause. Absolutely. Thank you, Dries. Thank you to Kirill, Paolo, and of course, Max Verstappen. Ladies and gentlemen, our FIA Karting World Champions. Thank you very much. Right, next we turn our attention to a very special award for an iconic event that this year celebrated a real landmark. Absolutely, we're of course talking about the mighty Macau Grand Prix. I think it's fair to say that along with Monaco and Baku, of course, that Macau has become truly one of the great street courses and this year it celebrated its 70th edition. Yep, and throughout that time it's provided us with some spectacular action and this year's race was no exception. opportunity for overtaking. There just wasn't the space, couldn't turn the car in, and then the up 10. But 
that it's too late. He's been in very different machinery this year, hasn't he? Start the hip goal of the train holding. magnificent event and here to present the awards for the 70th edition is a man who knows how to go fast around those streets now you may know him better as a two-time world endurance champion but back in 2006 he was a young up-and-comer and a macau grand prix winner please welcome mike conway Welcome, Mike. It's lovely to have you here. So, as Harry's already mentioned, you know what it takes. What makes Macau such a special race? Uh, yeah, it's cool seeing the video there. It brings back great memories. That It's a very unique track. So, um, yeah, one that I think all the drivers really loved going to. And it being the end of the year as well, all the champions kind of being there, it was quite a special race. It really is. And uh, it's a particular challenge as well in big GT cars. So please give it up for the champion of the 2023 FIA GT World Cup for drivers, Raffaele Marcello. And from the victorious Mercedes AMG Team Landgraf, we have Stefan Wendel. Congratulations, well done. And now, the champion of the 2023 FIA F3 World Cup for drivers, it's Luke Browning, and from the winning team, High Tech Bolts 8, it's Oliver Oakes. Thank you very much, everyone. I believe a little photo is being taken right now. And once that is over, we can give them another big round of applause, our champions and the winners of the 70th Macau Grand Prix. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Congratulations, all. Uh, well, what a race Macau clearly is, but also what a launch pad it can be for F3 drivers who race in it. And that leads us nicely on to our next uh, awards. Uh, now, the journey to the top of motorsport, as we all know, is an incredibly tough one. With every year, the step up to the next level gets harder, the pace increases, and the competition gets even tougher. Oh yeah, but hey, the rewards are great. Bigger wins, more recognition, and closer to the ultimate goal of an F1 seat. The FIA Formula 3 and Formula 2 champions are as close as it gets. Hugely demanding and ultra competitive, where better for the junior categories to learn their graft and get ready for a career of greatness. And there's no year where that's been more clear than in 2023, as we'll see. First time in 2023, we are go. <laughs> 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 Sullivan gets the position. Gabriel Portoletto takes another win. <laughs> Colapinto nicely done. <laughs> Gabriele Mini. You guys make me happy. It's a battle on the brakes, and now on just about has enough. Oh, and contact's been made. That one was for you, Delano Vantoff. Zach O'Sullivan equals the all-time winning record. And there's big contact. Who would have called this? This session will not be resumed. Gabriel Portoletto is our driver's champion. Formula 2 in 2023. No height required. Teo Pocher. That was bold, that was brilliant! Ayumu Owasan wins the feature race! Oh, big impact! Can he find the power? Bevan's got it! 
Testy takes the chicken flag. And the crowd love it. Richard for sure. <laughs> Diving to the inside. This is not finished yet. Still they go wheel to wheel. Teo Porcher is the Formula 2 champion. Some very, very worthy uh, drivers there, Medera. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, now to uh, present uh, the uh, trophies, uh, we will welcome the Formula One president and CEO, Stefano Domenicali. Welcome, Stefano. It's lovely to see you tonight. Uh, now, uh, we're going to put you to work because we've got quite a few trophies for you to give out. So, uh, let's start with what was a thrilling 2023 FIA Formula 3 Championship. And we'll begin with our third place driver with one win and four podiums driving for Prema Racing. It's Estonia's Paul Aron. Well done, Paul. A big congratulations there. Again, it's just your little photograph, and we'd like to invite you back. Thank you. Thank you, Paul Aaron. Right, so in second place, taking four wins and seven podiums, and again, driving for Prema Racing, it is Great Britain's Zach O'Sullivan. Now, Zach unfortunately can't be with us tonight, but to collect his trophy, please welcome Prema Racing team principal, Rene Rosson. Congratulations, Rene, and on behalf of Zach as well. Uh, and actually, Rene, if you could just stay there for a moment, because, uh, well, spoiler alert, uh, we're now coming to the winning team. Uh, and it really was a season of two halves in the team's championship in FIA uh, Formula 3, with Trident leading for the first half of the year. But Rene's team knows how to win, and they storm back to take their fourth title in five years. It is, of course, Prema Racing. Well done, Rene. Well done. Right, so let's go on to our champion then. In a remarkable rookie season defined by exceptional consistency, he finished in the points in all but three races, winning two and taking six podiums on his way to the title. Driving for Trident from Sao Paulo, Brazil, the 2023 FIA Formula 3 champion is Gabriel Bortoletto. <laughs> Congratulations, Gabriel. A huge well done, Gabriel. Fantastic work. Rookie season, champion, signed with the McLaren Development Programme as well. Do you have time to look back at all you've achieved this year? Yeah, I mean, it was for sure the best year of my life. Uh, winning in the rookie season has been a dream coming true for me. Signing with McLaren now. Um, I did a little bit of what Oscar did as well, winning in the first year. I hope I can follow his steps on the next categories as well. But yeah, um, I'm so happy, uh, so glad of everything I achieved this year. Not only myself, but also the team. So Absolutely. Now, we wondered where your trophy went. It's here. There we go. Stefano, please do the honours. <laughs> there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, our FIA Formula 3 champion. Fantastic work. Thank you so much, Gabrielle Bortoletto. Appreciate it. Um, and uh, thanks for hanging on, Stefano. Appreciate it. We've got you uh, for a little bit longer uh, because we now move on to the step closest to the top spot, Formula 2. And in third place in 2023 with three wins and five podiums driving for Invicta Virtuosi Racing, Australia's Jack Dewan. Congratulations, Jack. Very well done once again. Smile for your photo. And well done for all of your hard work this season. Thank you. Now we go on to our F2 runner-up. And it was a hard-fought championship, wasn't it, Harry? It really was. Yeah. Uh, very, very exciting all the way to the end. Yes, all the way to the end. Right down in Abu Dhabi with five wins and eight podiums from Denmark and driving for Prema Racing, it's Frederick Vesti. Huge well done, Fred. Smile for the cameras. Fantastic work. 
kept it going all the way to the very end, but well done, Frederick Lesney. Thank you so much. Thank and you. Congratulations. Uh, and now for our winning team. And this time, there was an epic tussle too for the top spot. Uh, in the end, though, with 353 points, just 31 ahead of Prema Racing, the winners are ART Grand Prix. And here to accept the trophy is their team principal, Sebastian Philippe. Well done, congratulations. Once again, a little smile for the cameras. There we go. And now we move on to our champion, driving for ART Grand Prix. He first took the lead in the title race at the end of the first round in Bahrain. He was never outside the top three, and he sealed the title in the final round in Abu Dhabi. The 2023 FIA Formula 2 champion is Theo Porsche. A huge congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. FIA Formula 2 champion. Fantastic. Teo, it was such a hard fought championship. You kept it going all the way to the end. How do you look back at the year as well and what's on the horizon for 2024? Yeah, first of all, good evening to everybody. I'm really happy to be here. It's a great, uh, great ceremony and um, yeah, it's been an amazing season. Uh, I mean, Formula 2 champion is, is amazing. It's a it's a dream. It was a dream for me. It, and big thanks to, to Sebastian here, Sebastian Philippe, ART Grand Prix. Without them, you know, I wouldn't have been able to, to race this season. And um, it's been an amazing four years with this team. And of course, I'm leaving the team uh, because next year I will be racing uh, in another championship. But, you know, it's been, it's been amazing and I'm super, super happy. Fantastic. Well, we look forward to following your progress as ever. Thank you, Teo. And thank you as well, Sebastian. And of course, to you as well, Stefano. But Teo Porcher, your FIA Formula 2 champion. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. And uh, yep, Stefano, you can go now. <laughs> Put your feet up. We'll, <laughs> we'll have you back again run. later. Yeah, exactly. Right. So now we go from some of the world's most famous race circuits to some of the world's most spectacular environments. Absolutely. This year's FIA World Rally Raid Championship took teams and drivers to the edge of mechanical and physical endurance at some pretty epic locations. Yeah, starting, of course, with the iconic Dakar Rally, then moving on to the Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge. Uh, before pushing competitors to the limit in two new events in Mexico's Sonora Desert and the Patagonian steppes of Argentina. And finally, concluding at the classic Rally du Maroc. Uh, and in only its second year as well, the FIA World Rally Raid Championship gave us some incredible action. So let's take a look at it. Some truly spectacular machines and drivers on show there. Uh, and here to present the awards is a man who knows... Oh, a bit of a round of applause. Absolutely. Uh, but here to present the awards is a man who knows a thing or two about winning off-road, the FAA Deputy President for Sport, Robert Reed. <laughs> Welcome, Robert. Lovely to see you tonight. 
So, thank you for helping us out here. And let's move straight on to this year's third place crew. Please welcome Juan Cruz Iacopini and Daniel Oliveres. Huge congratulations, guys. Fantastic work. Come get your photo, get your obligatory photo. Thank you so much. A brilliant fight, uh, and congratulations once again. Uh, now, the, uh, the fight for the title, though, went all the way to the final round in Morocco. And even though they took a brilliant win there, our next crew just missed out on the title. Our rally raid runners-up are Yazid Al-Raji and Timo Gottschalk. Many congratulations, Yazid and Timo. Well done. And now, Robert, if you would like to do the honours, we're going to progress on to our winners of the Manufacturers' Champions. And that is, of course, Harry, would you like to, to announce them? Uh, I can, indeed. The Rally Ray Manufacturers' Champions are Toyota Gazoo Racing. And here to accept the trophy is the Toyota Motor Europe Vice President, Andrea Carlucci. Congratulations, well done, thank you. Right, congratulations, Andrea. A spectacular back-to-back -back title. And of course, make sure you get your photos there holding that fabulous trophy. Uh, thank you very much and congratulations once again. So, we shall now move on to our Drivers' Championship winning crew. Uh, absolutely, uh, we can do that. Um, remind me where we are, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, Harry. Let's let me, let me help you out here. Right, so we have a crew. They started the year just as they did in 2022 with a stunning victory at the Dakar Rally. And after that, they just never looked back. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2023 FIA World Rally Raid champions are Nazir al Atia and Mathieu Bomel. Fantastic work, and what a machine being brought on be behind you. you. Congratulations, Nazir, Matthew, fantastic. Get that photo shot, and the president, Mohammed Ben Salehem, of course, coming up to congratulate as well. Fantastic work Thank you very much. Nazir and Matthew. Congratulations all around. Now, before we let, go, let you go, Nazir, Matthew, it was obviously a, a fantastic season and an amazing Dakar win to help win the title. Uh, two seasons of World Rally Raid competition, two wins in the bag. You're the crew to beat right now. And of course, the Dakar win really helped you seal that title. It's only a few months away, 2024 Dakar. Can you do three wins on the trot? Yeah, this on the, this on the way, you know, but uh, it was an amazing uh, season, a great championship with a fantastic car and uh, wonderful uh, pilot and uh, friends. So thank you, Nasser, for that. Thank you. Thank you so much to you all, Nasir Al-Atia and Mathieu Bommel. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Fantastic you work. Thank you. Congratulations once again. And this is the beast of a machine right here, powered by a 3.5-litre twin-turbo V6 engine taken from the latest Toyota Land Cruiser 300 GR Sport. It pushes out 298 kilowatts of power at 660 newton metres of torque. Now, that's pretty powerful, pretty instantly. Pretty so it's a pretty good machine. Yeah, we love it. Right, so now it is time to move on to a very special award. Uh, it absolutely is. Created to recognize the extraordinary efforts of our heroes at the side of the track. The FIA Outstanding Official of the Year Award honors those in the pit lane and in race control tower circuits around the world. And look, while we salute the work of officials all around the world, tonight we're honoring one in particular for their exceptional efforts. Uh, absolutely are. And to present the award to this year's recipient, please welcome to the stage the president of the FIA Volunteers and Officials Commission, Abdulaziz Al Tawadi.
welcome up onto the stage, Abdulaziz. Lovely to see you this evening. Right, shall we announce the winner then? I'm pleased to say that it is Sadiq Kalawad. Bahrain Sadiq Kalawad has been at the heart of motorsport development in the Middle East and globally for more than two uh, decades as the founder of the Motorsport Marshals Club and race secretary of the Bahrain Grand Prix. As a trainer for marshals all over the world and as an official at races and rallies across the globe, he has helped to grow motorsport in every region and for that he is honoured tonight. Thank you for all of your hard work, Sadiq. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Well earned. Oh, love this. All right, let's get that for the photo. <laughs> that and seeing all of your hard work and dedication how do you look back at that all well it's been an uh, amazing journey over the years uh, and I wanted to dedicate this trophy to all the marshals all over the world especially in Bahrain and I want to first thank our president uh, the fire president Hamid Bastayim and of course the Bahrain Motor Federation and the Bahrain International Circuit for making this uh, an unforgettable amazing moment thank you everybody Thank you. And thanks to thank you. you. And thank you also, Abdulaziz. Thank, thank you, you very much, gentlemen. Right, so we've already had lots of brilliant awards, but there's still plenty more to come this evening.
about that to get started at Back With Things. A massive thank you to our entertainment, Isfar Sarivsky, Alex Miltek, and our amazing acrobats, Sabina Mamadova and Polina Pravdina. Fantastic work from all of them. Uh, well, we hope you're uh, enjoying the evening so far, and we start the next part of the awards with a very special award. Yeah. The FIA Founding Members Heritage Cup recognises the events, people and places that celebrate the history of motoring and motorsport. And here to present tonight's award is the Automobile Club von Deutschland EV President Ludwig versus Lovenstein Wertheim Frudenberg. Welcome Ludwig, thank you for joining us this evening. Brilliant to have you here, thank you very much. Now this year's Heritage Cup winner embodies all of the qualities Darren mentioned a few moments ago. Assembled over a lifetime, Freehold Load's stunning collection of classic cars features more than 150 of the finest race and road vehicles ever assembled. Yeah, I mean, I had a look already at the video. You've got everything from amazing race cars like Fangio's 1957 German Grand Prix winning Maserati 250F and probably enough prototypes to fill an entire Le Mans grid. The low collection grew into one of the world's most great private car collections. Absolutely. Now, though, uh, Dr. Lowe has opened his collection to the public. It's this new museum that we honour tonight as the preserver of some of the world's most beautiful vehicles and for its role as an educational institution responsible for inspiring engineers of the future. The winner of the 2023 FIA Founding Members Heritage Cup is the National Auto Museum of Germany. And here to collect the award of the museum are the executive director, Florian Erbich, and its managing director, Tobias Reichler. Look at that, Tobi. Very nice. Very nice. Great to have you both here with us. Congratulations. Thanks and as I mentioned, we have a video. So let's take a look okay. at that to check Super. out some okay. of their work. Vielen Dank. Danke, danke nochmal. Okay. Top. Okay. Here in Germany, we love cars. Boundless wonders, icons of automotive engineering and design to marvel at, to fathom at. What can we know about it? What do we understand about the essence of technology? What drives us to develop such wonders? What were they built for? Where did they go to? What stories have they written? This unquenchable thirst for progress, for mobility, and for motor racing. The search for such small details in the universe of cars. It is our sense of individual mobility, of speed, or is it the allure of beauty? The desire to make every place and every speed accessible, achievable, to push boundaries again and again for the benefit of mankind, or is it our own vision that gives us harmony with man, nature, and technology to discover true greatness even in the tiniest components. Perhaps it is also humility that technology teaches us. Nevertheless, we want to master it, the technology and the machine. But the beauty is delicate and fragile and we have the responsibility to preserve this very beauty. You don't have to be a scientist to love cars, to design them. It is passion that is needed. Passion for moving pistons, for smoking tires, the smell of petrol. Still, with the creation of a machine, 
responsibility is born for the history, for the driver, for the race and for the car itself. Here we conserve it, the feeling, the heritage. Wow, what a fantastic video and a look at what you have achieved. Congratulations. Um, Florian, I mean, congratulations again to both of you. It's, it's clearly an amazing collection. How important was it to preserve for the German people? Well, first of all, good evening and thank you. We are so honored to be here. The museum has only been open for since uh, the end of July. And um, it's really a great honor, and we are so happy to receive this award. Thank you very much to the RVD for uh, nominating us and for helping us here. So thank you for that. And the the collection has been um, a private collection that's been uh, not open to the public for 35 years, and so that's been a big step to turn this collection into a museum right in the heart of Germany. And what's the future for the collection? Yes. Well, uh, the future for the collection is to um, build new classes of uh, categories in the museum, like rally cars or stuff like that, to show to the people that not only um, road cars or Le Mans cars are in the collection, so to build up and uh, show new cars to the, to, the, to the public. Very nice. And gentlemen, do we have a favorite car? Well, we have 150 cars on display, and we have a few more hidden away. Ooh. So um, every day we have a we have a different favorite. I can tell you. Maybe today, because of because of this event, also it's the 1989 Monaco Grand Prix winning McLaren Honda from Alpen Senna. Very nice. We managed to get you to pick one in the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, once again, a massive uh, congratulations to our 2023 FIA Founding Members Heritage Cup winners. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, thank you, Ludwig. Thank you. Now, it's time to pay our respects to friends and colleagues who passed away in 2023. Each one of them left an indelible mark on motorsports, and tonight we honour them. Some phenomenal motorsport personalities there, all who will be greatly missed. Absolutely. A fantastic and a standing ovation as well. All terribly missed. Um, now, though, for our next presentation, we're heading off-road for the FIA World Rallycross Championship. 
Yes, Harry. And this year's championship was a roller coaster ride of emotions and drama, but through it all, one man remained at the top of his game. Let's take a look. Opening round of the 2023 FIA World Rallycross Championship. It's going to be fast, frenetic, and a whole lot of fun. Lights are green. It's a good launch. Here comes Lowe. Sebastian Lowe has got Grunholm. If he can hold it, Grunholm comes back and takes Lowe. It is the defending champion, Johan Christofferson, that wins the season opener in Montenegro, Portugal. Oh, and again, look at Timmy Hansen going at Faby here. Out of the final corner, hit the curve, pitches the car up onto two wheels. Faby does not have the pace. He's livid with Ola Christian Faby. Look at Timmy Hansen. Totally maniac. Push me off on the street. Christofferson driving beautifully to take it to the checkered flag. It's green for go at the magic weekend here in Holliers. She sure is loving around the outside. Look at Kevin Hansen. Hansen's off the track completely. Oh, Loeb is in the grass. Early joker, it looks like. And here he is again. The defending champion takes his 38th career victory. The FIA World Riding Cross Championship returns in Cape Town. Johan Christofferson wins the first of the double headers here in South Africa. Timo Scheider is almost there. Wow. He's won his first ever FIA World Running Cross race. Timo has done it. I want to dedicate this victory to my dad. I love you. The first ever Asia Pacific race in the history of World Rally Cross. Oh, the crowd absolutely loving that gravel. Devin Hudson takes the checkered flag in Hong Kong. Six times FIA World Rally Cross champion. Magical from Johan Christofferson, the champion for 2023. Wow, so much action there. Love that. What a season it has clearly been. Uh, and so to present the trophy, we are joined by 2003 FIA World Rally Champion and two-time FIA World Rally Cross Champion, Petter Solberg. Welcome, Peter. Thank you for joining us. Thank so, you. you've had quite the year, winning the Race of Champions with your son Oliver back in January, and of course supporting his career throughout the year. What are you, look, what are you most looking forward to in 2024? Well, first of all, uh, Race of Champions was a fantastic thing, you know, and uh, it's always a big dream, but it's on snow, so of course we have a big advantage, but to do that with your son, it's for sure incredible, and uh, life goes on, and uh, like we saw before, with some of the, a lot of my friends that happened bad things with this year, you know, it's quite tough. So for next year, um, let's hope for a fantastic year, a lot of action and good competition that we have the championship fight to the end of the race. Yes, <laughs> yeah. The last race is always something you want, uh, want to see. So 
Let's see. But I will go to Safari Rally next year and look at the guys. Uh, and I will go to Dakar Rally and have a look there. So I will try to look into that direction to see if I can maybe get the passion back again properly. Yeah, we're here for that. Well Fantastic. done. Fantastic. Full send into 2024. Uh, okay, then. Let's go to our winners. Please welcome to the stage our Rallycross winners in third place, Niklas Gronholm. Many congratulations, Nicholas. Well done. We've got to Fantastic take a little photo again. Work. There we are. Huge congratulations. Thank you very much, well done. Nicholas. Uh, and now we welcome our second place driver. It's Kevin Hansen. Well done, Kevin. Another worthy trophy. Well done. Quick, quick pick. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic work once again. Kevin Hansen, congratulations. Second place. Thank, Thank you, you very, you very much. much. And now, before we get to our champion, let's celebrate a spectacular teams championship. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, for the second year in a row, the teams championship winner is Christofferson Motorsports. And here to receive the trophy is its owner, Tommy Christofferson. Congratulations. There we go. How's that for a trophy? All right. You look, look very good. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Amazing. Right. We now come to our 2023 champion with five wins from seven races that took place. Once again, he absolutely dominated the campaign. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the 2023 FIA World Rallycross champion, the simply unstoppable Johan Christofferson. Fantastic work as we see the car that did it all brought in behind. Fantastic work. Well done. Deserved. Well deserved. Thank you. Quick, quick face out to the front and then we'll have a, a brief chat as oh. well. Get the obligatory photo. Yeah, let's get the photo Lovely fast. Lovely stuff. Um, Johan, uh, you, you can ask him who have it have been his best teammate ever. Well, go on then. That's a better question than I had. <laughs> yeah, I, must, uh, I must say better than okay, well, as he's standing here on the side. Thank you, thank I, you, thank I you. say anything else. So. <laughs> it's true though. <laughs> um, look, Johan, six titles in seven seasons, four in, a row, four in a row. There's been a few ups and downs along the way though. How tricky is it to, to maintain momentum? Uh, yeah, for sure, it's, it's not easy, but, uh, but yeah, I have a very good team behind me uh, and yeah, I've been in, in a couple of very good teams over the years and uh, for this year I think uh, there were so many new things uh, when it was first electric uh, 2023, uh, so uh, 2022, so for 2023 I think the team did an amazing job over winter uh, to do some updates on the car and yeah, we, we started off the season with three wins, so uh, yeah, that was... That was the, the best start of the season you could get, and then from there on we had a bit of an accident within Rallycross. We had one car was getting on fire, but the uh, FIA promoter and, and the teams did a great job on getting the championship to continue for South Africa and Hong Kong in, in a different car. But uh, yeah, managed to, to seal the deal, so very happy. Absolutely, you did indeed. Now, of course, father-son duo, how, how do you navigate that? Yeah, of course, it's, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> different to, to have your father as a teammate, uh, but I guess well, he's... Well, Tommy's got the mic now. What's he got to say? Well, I, I think <laughs> I'm going to continue speaking, otherwise I might get some... <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, but it's working fine. Uh, he's been my boss since, since day one, since I was born, so that's how it is. Tommy, is it challenging to manage both aspects of, of being a dad, but also working together? Yeah, to say, uh, to say, uh, this is fucking dull, isn't it? Yeah. Being by yourself yeah. and then to have the privilege to follow your son <laughs> with all these good results. <laughs> and so we have a good, two good years Don't with Peter. It. it was fantastic here, and then we continue yeah. by ourselves. So I'm so proud to be here to the, the trophy and also to do it with you and my son is amazing. Mm. Fantastic. Well, once again, a huge congratulations. Thank you so much. Well done. Well done. I gotta go. Thank you very much. 
once again, Tommy and Johan Christofferson, and thanks too to our prize giver, Petter Solberg, and the magnificent car that did it all, the World Rallycross uh, Course Championship. has been all electric since last year, and Christofferson Motorsports, Volkswagen Paul, uh, Polo RX1E, powered by 250 kilowatt motors. Incredible power for such a small machine. Absolutely. Now, six titles in seven seasons is an achievement that any driver would be looking to emulate. And for the winner of our next category, it could well be a possibility because it's now time to meet our FIA Rookie of the Year. And to present tonight's award is FIA Drivers Commission President Ronan Morgan. Welcome, Ronan. Thank you for joining us. So, this award is, of course, presented to a driver who has made an outstanding impression during their first year of competition. Past winners include Charles Leclerc, Alex Albon, Yuki Tsunoda, and Oscar Piastri. All of those who have gone on to achieve incredible success, of course. So, the big question is, who is set to join the club this year? Well, let's take a look at who tonight's winner is. Ladies and gentlemen, Oscar Piastri. There he is, Oscar, a huge congratulations. What a year he's had. Fantastic, our Rookie of the Year. Now, yeah. Oscar, you've actually won this award before, the first time in 2021. You've done it again. And at the start of this year, where McLaren were, to then suddenly podiums, a sprint win, the only way is up, right? I hope so, yeah. If we can start next year how we've uh, finished this season, then we'll be in good shape. But uh, yeah, it's been a, a massive team effort, big turnaround, like you said. So I uh, enjoyed my rookie season in F1 a lot. Hopefully it's the last rookie season of my career. But uh, no, enjoyed a lot and looking forward to what's to come. We're looking forward to watching you. Thank you very much. Oscar yeah. Piastri, our two-time FIA Rookie of the Year. Thank you both Thank very you much. Well done. Congratulations. Fantastic work, Oxford Piastri. He's good, that rookie, but not anymore. Uh, now, we move on to our next category, the ABB FIA Formula E World Championship. Oh, yeah. And actually, Darren, this is your territory, so it's over to you. Oh, well, thank you very much, Harry. I mean, in Formula E, if I do say so myself, we had a spectacular year. I mean, everything from the introduction of the Gen 3 car to some fabulous new locations around the world, including Hyderabad, Sao Paulo, and Portland. So lots of great action there. And the best part is, is that it went all the way down to the wire in London. But don't just take it from me, let's have a look.
Here to make friends. Anything can happen in Formula E. There's always winners and losers in this. Attack now, let's get it. There is no one slow in this championship. Side by side action, then go. Push for it. Formula E is uh, the highest level. Winning races, winning championships. That feeling is unreal. Don't you just love it, Harry? Electrifying streets around the world, and not long to wait till the next one. Round of applause yeah, for Formula E. Yeah, come on. And keep that round of applause going, because here to present the awards this evening is Formula E CEO, Jeff Dodds. Welcome, Jeff. Lovely to see you. Thank you for joining us this evening. And why don't we get straight into our third place driver. Ladies and gentlemen, driving for Jaguar TCS Racing, it's Mitch Evans. Huge congratulations, Mitch. A worthy campaign. Thank you very much. Thank congratulations you. once again. Uh, and here to collect his runners-up trophy after just missing out at the final round in London. It's Envision Racing's Nick Cassidy. Well done, Nick. Congratulations. Fantastic work as well. Thank you very much, Nick Cassidy from InVision. Top work. Right, now we come to the team's trophy. We do indeed. And it was in fact a victory by Nick in London that won the title for the 2023 FIA Formula E team champions who are InVision Racing. And here to collect the Formula E Team World Championships trophy is InVision team principal, Sylvain Felipe. Done. Massive congratulations, Sylvan and Envision. Well done. Congratulations. Photos being taken there with the Gen 3 Formula E car. And well done once again. Thank you very much. Congratulations to our team champions. Um, you got, got, any, uh, got any Formula E facts for me, Darren? Yes, I do indeed. I mean, as I mentioned, Gen 3 is actually the world's lightest, fastest, most powerful and efficient Formula E electric race car. I mean, Jeff is still up here. Jeff, would you like to say a few words about Formula E? Well, you ask me questions, Darren, and I'll answer them. All right. So what can we look forward to in 2024? Uh, I think more of the same. So hopefully the same incredibly competitive racing. Uh, a couple of new venues as well will be in uh, the streets of Tokyo. Uh, in season 10 and in Shanghai as well. So hopefully uh, more of the same, different places. Can't wait. Thank you very much, Jeff Dodds. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Uh, still, though, one trophy to give out, Darren. I think it's time for the champion. Absolutely. I mean, he had just such a consistent and dominating season. He scored a brilliant 11 podium finishes to take the title, driving for Avalanche Andretti. It is none other than Jake Dennis. Welcome, Jake. Congratulations. Congrats. Thank you. I mean, we just reeled off some of the stats there. A fantastic season from you. And you've just announced that you'll be signing with Avalanche Andretti until 2025. How much are you looking forward to next year and beyond? Yeah, really looking forward to next season. Um, is my mic on? If not, we've got one here we've for you. We've got one on standby. Yeah, really looking forward to next season. You know, obviously we're coming off the back of a, a, a great season nine. And uh, yeah, obviously to come away with 11 podiums, two wins. Uh, and obviously yeah, to announce the, the new contract extension with Andretti. Seemed like the right thing to do. You know, they're like family to me now. I've been there from the start uh, with them. And um, yeah, to see them grow, be there with the journey for them. And um, also to be involved, obviously, with the Formula E journey. You know, the new locations we race at for next year with Tokyo. Going back to Shanghai is going to be interesting. So um, yeah, always growing, always pushing the team harder and um, really looking forward to season 10. 
Can't wait to see you on track. Thank you very much, Jake. Ladies and gentlemen, our 2023 FIA Formula E World Champion. Thank you and thanks once again, Jack. Fantastic work. And as well to our team champions in Vision Racing and of course our prize giver. Jeff Dodds. Oh yeah. Now, we move on to one of the most popular parts of the FIA prize giving, which is also a voted award. It is, of course, the FIA Action of the Year. Now, Action of the Year features spectacular moments from across FIA championships and is voted by motorsport fans on the FIA socials. And after counting up all the votes, the shortlist has been reduced to a top three, and here they are. Sebastian Montoya is going to make his first impact on this lead group to the outside of Nino Biganovic. Is he going to be brave and go round the outside? He's going to certainly give it a go at turn six. Now they make their way down to turn seven. Montoya briefly off into the gravel, but he's still going to go round the outside. And that is move complete from Sebastian Montoya. P5 in the race for him. Is he going to go for it again into eight? He's oh, going away. This is going on in well. He's done it! Oh my god! What? Antonio Felix da Costa with a farcical move! This is wild! Oh! Alonso is going to get the run down at turn number four. This is going to be super aggressive between the two of them. Alonso's fought his way back through on the last lap, and the crowd absolutely loved it. The old master takes back the place. 200 miles per hour to the line on board with Sergio Perez, who gets close, but it's Fernando Alonso's day by the tiniest of margins. moments there but of course there can only be one winner so ladies and gentlemen please show your appreciation for our 2023 FIA action of the year winner it's Fernando Alonso unfortunately Fernando can't be with us tonight but he has sent us this video message hello to all the fans and big thanks uh, for voting me uh, the action of the year and my battle with Sergio in Brazil. Um, I also want to thank and, and share this award with Sergio. Any battle on track needs the collaboration of two, uh, and I think uh, this should be an example not only for present but also for future generations where we must promote clean driving without any contact between cars. So hopefully I see you next year with more action on track. Thanks to, to all the fans and uh, thanks FIA as well uh, for taking care of us and see you soon. And of course, a big thanks to Fernando for that message and that brilliant overtake moment. It really was brilliant, but uh, I can see Checo's giving us the side eye. So we'll move swiftly on uh, from one example of supreme skill at the wheel to a whole season's worth and at long distances. We come now to the FIA World Endurance Championship. It was indeed a spectacular year in endurance racing. And once again, why don't we take a look at how it all played out? FIA WEC Season 2023. Seven races on four continents. Hila, Dimare, Bon, Moto. Let's just enjoy this noise. Back on Porsche, Porsche moves up ahead of the caddy. 
Oops, that's Costantini, and it's a big one! It's oh, the oh, off the track! 64 hours of racing. It is victory for Toyota number seven. And we go green in Portimao. Sebastian Buemi immediately has a contact. Over 55,000 laps covered. Colada went wide there, Buemi's through. I have the classic. Sometimes you get up, sometimes you don't. Just down the brakes deep enough before she's going to back out of it there. 13. Oh, awesome touch. They took pole position and they claim victory. 37 incredible cars. More than 110 drivers. Whoa! Ready? Oh, double O. Oh, that's good in the back. Safety car will be out. Who's going to back out of this one? He's onto the bar because he's off the track of the car momentarily. Sarbo be giving no inch, no quarter to Tomonoki. Kamu Kobayashi wins it for Toyota. It is a 1 2 for Toyota Gazoo Racing. Endurance racing record of fans over the season. Back to 1 2 after the first half a lap of race now. Oh, what's the barrier there? It's a 300 barrier on the end of the first game. Offside, inside, inside. Takes them both. He does take them both. Stunning stuff. I can go with them as a first for that one. 325,000 fans at the Le Mans Centenary. This is just the beginning. Ale, we've won the mark. 51, Ferrari AF Corsa. And it is Alessandro Pierguidi, I'm sure, in floods of tears. We are racing in Monza, and the Ferraris are facing backwards. Can they do it here again at Monte? will be record-breaking with 14 manufacturers in hypercar and LMGT3 Toyota Ferrari Porsche Cadillac Peugeot Alpine BMW Isotta Fraschini Lamborghini Aston Martin Corvette Ford Lexus McLaren Be ready for a season like no other. This is FIA WEC. Now, if that doesn't get you excited about the World Endurance Championship next year and beyond, I don't know what will. Uh, and so, to introduce our FIA World Endurance Champions for 2023, please welcome back to the stage the president of the AAF, Anar Alak Barov, and the president of the FIA, Mohamed Ben Saleh. Welcome.
Thank you so much, Mr. President. I'll just hand over a microphone to you. There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. First of all, as we said, this is the night of the champion. And then uh, I congratulate everyone that had the trophy. I thank the uh, city of Baku for all of this hospitality, for uh, hosting us here, for the General Assembly, and for the, uh, um, for the prize given. Actually, when some of the um, um, members of the FIA said, we thank you for showing us there is another world that we see. So uh, I repeat it again. So thanks to Mr. Anar for hosting us here. Please. And they said, it's, it's, it's just beautiful to see how is the action here. It's just the championship this year was just incredible. If it comes from the pinnacle of the uh, sport till the uh, karting. So it is, it's really, I'm so happy and proud of the amount of, of, uh, of, of work that has been done by the teams, by the drivers, by, by the um, spectators, by the fans, yeah. and by the volunteers also, and the officials of the, of the FIAs. And thank you very much. And the media also. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank, thank you. you very thank much, you. Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. And, of course, speaking of things which are spectacular, it was, of course, an epic Le Mans that we had this year in WAC. Were you cheering on for Ferrari? What about Ferrari? You were cheering on for them? Well, you know, it's very hard for me to say which. And, and, but to see the WAC with all of the manufacturers, I mean, last year, imagine this year, the coming year, it's a lot. Whatever... I support, I cannot tell you actually, and you know that very well. The first thing is the compliance will be after me, but no, no. I mean, I honestly enjoy a good race. Um, I'm so happy with the way the WIC has turned. Um, it's the quality entry and also the amount of, of races that we have. All the manufacturers are there. Yeah. And we're encouraging more and more people to come. So really, congratulations to them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you once again, Mr. President. Well, we speak of Ferrari, and we'll do another round of applause as well. Thank you very much. Uh, and that's where we're going to start, though, in Maranello. Uh, now, their sister crew may have taken that Le Mans win, but over the long haul of the championship, it was these guys who led the way for Ferrari. Our third-place crew in the number 50 car, Nicholas Nielsen, Miguel Molina, and Antonio Fuoco. Now, unfortunately, Nicholas can't be with us this evening, but Miguel and uh, Antonio are here to collect the trophies on behalf of the whole crew. A massive congratulations as well, and what a return for Ferrari in the top flight of endurance racing. Well done, gentlemen. Right, photos being taken, and thank you, thank you very, very much. much. Again. Another round of applause there. So now we welcome our second place crew. It was so close between them and their teammates. And despite taking four wins during the year, a heartbreaking DNF at Le Mans meant that they just missed out. Our 2023 hypercar runners up are the crew of the number seven Toyota. It's Mike Conway, Kamui Kobayashi, and Jose Maria Lopez. Fantastic work once again from Toyota in the World Endurance Championship. A huge congratulations to Mike Conway, Kamui Kobayashi and Jose Maria Lopez, your second place crew in the FAA World Endurance Championship. Thank you very much. Very well done, gentlemen. Again. Thank you. Right. Should we go on to our winning hypercar manufacturer for 2023? I think we should. Yeah. And uh, well, what a remarkable year it was for this manufacturer. They've already won the World Rally Raid Championship and now they pick up their fifth WEC crown in a row. The winner of the manufacturer's title is, of course, Toyota Gazoo Racing. And to collect the trophy, please welcome Toyota Gazoo Racing's Europe Vice Chairman, Kazuki Nakajima. Fantastic work and congratulations once again to uh, Toyota and to Kazuki Nakajima. Thank you very much. Um, now, though, it's time 
for our drivers' champions. Uh, and we said it was close, and it was. They took two wins at Portimao and at the final round in Bahrain, but crucially, they finished second at four of the other five rounds to make sure of the title. Our 2023 FIA World Endurance champion winners are Sebastian Buemi, Ryo Hirakawa, and Brendan Hartley. And unfortunately, Brendan can't be with us tonight, but his teammates, I'm sure, will be happy to take the trophy back for him. A huge congratulations there, and that's the winning car pulled up behind them. Congratulations as they receive their trophies from the presidents. Thank you. Fantastic work. Very Sebastian well Wamey, Rio Hirakara, and of course, Brendan Hartley. Okay, congratulations. Right, I mean, what a season you had. Sebastian, I'd like to ask you, looking back at it all, how does it feel? And looking ahead to 2024, what can we expect? Yeah, first of all, good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. And yeah, clearly winning the championship for a fourth time was clearly uh, an amazing year. We missed out on Le Mans, but we're going to try to come back next year stronger. Uh, thanks to Toyota for the great car. Thanks to my teammates. Unfortunately, Brendan couldn't be with us tonight, but uh, yeah, we had a good season, a good fight with the sister car, and hopefully next year we'll, uh, we'll come back. Absolutely, you smashed it. Well done, and thank you so much. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, the winners of the FIA World Endurance Championship title. Thank you, guys, and thank you, Mr. President, yes. and also to you, Anna, as well. Huge congratulations. Thank you thank very you so much, much, gentlemen. Thank you. And behind thank them you. as well, that Toyota GR010. First introduced back in 2021. A few aero tweaks revised for 2023. Key aero changes and the weight reduction measures adding it to its title winning competitiveness as well and what a beauty as it, it gets really wheeled is. away behind us oh yeah but we are not done it yet we still have plenty more awards to come including the highly anticipated fia formula one champion so stick around
Oh, well, how was that? Massive congratulations for oh, pulling that off. Fantastic. That was incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Alahan Sam Aidov, Emil Afra Siyab, Alim Gazimov, and Fagana Gazimova, and the Natig Rhythm Band by Natig Shirinov and the Mirvari Dance Ensemble. They were spectacular. A big round of applause there for them. Right, so for everyone who has just joined, once again, he's Harry Benjamin. And she's Darren Anastasier. And um, for our next award, we're taking to the biggest stages in motorsport with the FIA World Rally Championship. And once again, we saw some awesome action across 13 spectacular rounds. And here to present the trophies, please welcome back to the stage FIA Deputy President for Sport, Robert Reed. Welcome back, Robert. Good to have you back on stage with us. All right, let's get straight into it and begin by bringing our third place crew to the stage. Please welcome Thierry Neville and Martin Vinegay. Congratulations to you both. What a fantastic year you've had. Fantastic work, Thierry and Martin. Our third place crew, congratulations. Well earned. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Right, next, our WRC runners up. In second place, it's Elfin Evans and Scott Martin. 
now. Unfortunately, Elfin can't be with us this evening. So Scott, you're going to have to do some heavy lifting tonight. Congratulations on a spectacular season. I'm sure Scott doesn't mind doing a bit of the heavy lifting. Fantastic work from them. Congratulations. And a massive well done. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. much. Well done. Right, and uh, now, before we honour this year's champion crew, we'll present the Manufacturer's Trophy. Yes, now, a little while ago, we mentioned that they've had an incredible year in motorsport, and it's just about to get even better. They've already picked up trophies for Rally Raid and WEC, and now let's welcome them to the stage for a third time to collect the rallying trophy. The 2023 World Rally Championship Manufacturers are Toyota Kazoo Racing WRT. Let's give them a and big... And to collect the trophy, please welcome Toyota Kazoo Racing WRT team principal, Yari Mati Latmala. Huge well congratulations, done. Yari and Toyota. Thank you very much. Well done. Right, it is now time for our WRC champions. Last year, he became the youngest ever WRC winner, and in partnership with his brilliant co-driver, he's doubled down and won it all again. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2023 FIA World Rally Champions, Kale Rovempera and Yone Altenum. Thank you. Fantastic work from the Toyota crew. Congratulations, Kale and Yone. And there we go with the photographs. Right, now, gentlemen, let's, yes, let's give them a big round of applause. And gentlemen, I'd like to ask you, I mean, how does this title compare to last year's? Um, yeah, this one was uh, a bit more hard work the last year. Um, after the new cars last year, the championship was uh, a bit more unequal with the teams. Everybody had to learn, but this year it was more of a fight and uh, we were really consistent and that was the most key point this year. Did a great job. Thank you so much, guys. A massive congratulations once again to Kale Rovenpera, Yone Altonen, and of course, Yari Mati Latvala. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic work. Congratulations once again. And there, as it gets wheeled back in, the 134 horsepower from its battery allied to the power from its 1.6 litre turbocharged engine. That Ooh. Toyota GR Yaris Rally 1 is, is comparable to almost 500 horsepower overall wow. and won a staggering nine of the 13 rounds in 2023. Things so, we love to see. What a machine. Yes. <laughs> Right, shall we go on to our next section? I think we should. We now turn our attention to a very special category, the FIA President's Innovation Award. Yes, yeah, since its earliest days, motorsport has driven progress through its remarkable ability to rapidly develop world-beating engineering solutions. And today, as we face challenges in so many areas, that ingenuity is more valuable than ever. And so, to honour the very best advances in motorsport, the FIA President's Innovation Award has been created. A uh, massive, uh, well, we're really looking forward to that. And of course, here, though, to present the award is the man himself, FIA President Mohammed Ben Salehan. Welcome back to the stage, Mr. President. I mean, yeah, that looks like a comfy one, but we'd like to invite you over here. <laughs> you want to go over there? Here's a microphone for you, by the way. Yes. Talking about the award? Yes. Yes. Um, as we did it last time, it's um, important for us not just to concentrate on the uh, sports side, but on the innovation side. And then looking at people who did uh, made a difference on, on the automobile industry. And then there is, uh, of course, a committee that uh, gets names, and then they um, 
nominated uh, um, a person who I always look at as an inspiration, a man that did something that not a lot of people did, especially in this time of age, um, to have to make a car under one roof, not to use any suppliers. That's challenging, and that needs guts. And then to do his own, not just engine, but uh, a direct drive, electric valves, all of these. So it's an inspiration, and, and to have his also factory burnt and then do it again. So uh, this award, you will see it, to whom it goes. Please go ahead. Well, this award goes to Christian von Koenigsegg. Let's take a look at some of his work. Ladies and gentlemen, Christian von Koenigsegg. Congratulations, Christian. Fantastic. And uh, there, with uh, the medal being presented, Mr. President, if you'd like to do the ones, we can take your microphone. Thank you very much. Fantastic work. And this medal celebrating and this award celebrating all of that congratulations christian now christian um a round of applause and once again i think that just proved exactly why you are up here but what did you set out to achieve when you began your journey in the automotive world um i guess uh, it all started when i was a very young kid i saw this uh, stop motion movie about a bicycle repairman living on the top of Norway, on the mountaintop in Norway. And he invented this wild machine with a lot of strange things, rocket engine in the rear, 12 liter engine in the front, and then he raced the established brands at a sort of Le Mans style of race. And I was so fascinated by this. And I told my father when I exited the cinema, that's what I want to do when I grow up. I want to create that wild machine that can compete against the big brands. So I guess when I grew up, I had no choice but to try my best to achieve that somehow. And are you surprised by how much you have gone on to achieve? Well, yeah, I, I guess I'm a little bit surprised myself sometimes, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very blessed and uh, excited by the opportunity to be allowed to do what, or what we are doing at Koenigsegg, the car company. Fantastic. Now, Mr. President, this award doesn't just go to anybody, and you mentioned it in the preamble as well, just what goes into this award, but what makes Christian cars so special? I think it's the inspiration, you know, you never give up. I saw the story, his story, and then we sent it to the uh, committee, as I said, and then they nominated him. I mean, you get all of your uh, factory, get burns, and then you start again, all over again, and you invent things like the direct drive, and then you put it in and you put electric uh, valves, a lot of things. But more than that, this, is, this medal is not going just to give to him for nothing. We are going to take uh, a promise from him that he's going to enter the GT race. Yes, we're, <laughs> yeah, we would. Yeah. And now you've got it live on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, we're, we're very excited uh, about the opportunity uh, for the future to go racing in GT. <laughs> <laughs> so, so thank you very much. Yeah. Thank well, you. well done, congratulations. And thank you. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Now, Mr. President, we'd actually like you to stay with us, if you will. Could you because, stay with us for a bit? Yes, please. It'd be fantastic if you could stay on stage because we have, of course, now made it to the grand finale of tonight's ceremony. Of course, it is the FIA Formula One World Championship.
Absolutely, and over the course of a stunning 22 race season that included the arrival of the spectacular Las Vegas Grand Prix, we were treated to quite a remarkable record-breaking season. In the depths of their being, a fire burns bright. There lies a sacred code racing through their veins. Gifted with strength and courage. Whispering their destiny. A promise of greatness. To stand on the shoulders of giants. There is enough fire in me which keeps me pushing. I always had the confidence in what I was doing. I truly believe there was nothing to be getting in my way. The genius takes it to another level. We are competing to win. And if you no longer go for that yet, no longer race in that. From generation to generation, this energy fuels the brain, transforming passion into glory. Defeats into success. A force of nature only seen in the greatest. The champions DNA. The Formula One in 2023 is go! Please welcome back to the Formula One podium, Fernando Alonso! Yes! And it's absolute chaos! Oh my god, red flag. The street fighters done it again! Uh, nice job, guys. Get the streaks. Oh, he's lost it! Yeah, I crushed it. I cannot believe this. Wow, I don't know so we hit, guys. I'm P2. How do you do my home race? <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> Don't really have you. Don't really have you. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're talking about! Very nicely done, everyone. Happy one, baby. We have to press the damage. Oh, I'm going hit my real leg. A lot of joust hangs on by 53 thousandths of a second! His reaction's a little bit slow because he's a bit older now. Death coming up the 310. By the grace of God, I got the glacier flow. Just the most of us, because the ice is cold. And everything I touch is as good as so. Plus, I got the soul. I want to drink something. We don't have a gin tonic. Design the bed, hanging on my head. Then I'm big time chilling, no need to trip. But this is just still in the area. It's while I'm on this side. Maybe God Taylor had a kid. Lewis said you could never be a driver, so that was cool. It's not been great for our self esteem. Good weather for This is the greatest spectacle in motorsport. It's such an exciting sport, I love it. This is Miami. Let's go!
Love you guys. I feel like we're living in a movie. This place on another level. Vegas is a spotlight for Formula One. Amazing. From Las Vegas, a Saturday fight night like no other. The show is spectacular. And it's lights out and away we go. The top two go off the road. I love F1. Hold position for the moment. Contact! Oh. Charles Leclerc has retaken the lead! The atmosphere is really electric. It just feels really dynamic and amazing. No, no, it's Vegas, baby. It's lights, it's cameras, it's action. Max Verstappen puts his name up in lights once again! F1 Vegas. Ah. This is Formula One! I gotta go. I gotta watch the Grand Prix. Growing up in a racing family, I was naturally looking into it all the time. Always a second quicker than anybody else. That's talent, that's feeling. Incredible job. You are a Grand Prix winner. How does that sound? Yeah, really good. I've never had to tell him the racing lines or things like that. He knew. He's already marked himself out as a big star. What he's clearly got is that ability to perform under pressure. And it's coming to us. Oh You're the youngest F1 driver in the history of this sport. Max Verstappen, two-time world champion. Champion. Verstappen dominates the Bahrain The Australian Grand, Grand Prix. Wins. The Miami Grand Prix. The Monaco Grand Prix. Wins. For Max Verstappen wins the Canadian Grand Prix. Wins. The Austrian Grand Prix. Wins the British Grand Prix. Seven victories in a row. Wins the Belgian Grand Prix. Ten wins in succession. Wins the Japanese Grand Prix. Welcome to a special Saturday sprint in Qatar. Verstappen, a three-time champion of the world. Win number 14. He takes victory. And another record. Max Verstappen wins the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Not a great fantastic job. Winning has always been in his DNA. Let's give a big round of applause there. Wow. Fantastic. It really was incredible. And now, here to present our third place driver, would you please welcome back the Azerbaijan Automobile Federation President, Anar Alakbarov. Welcome back, Anar. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Right then. Shall we get straight into it? And let's start with our third placed driver. Now, it wasn't the easiest of seasons for Mercedes, but if you really want to see what makes a driver a legend, then it's when they are outperforming the machinery they are given and getting results that others just wouldn't be able to achieve. And this driver did that and more in 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton, congratulations and thank you for joining us here in Baku. If you'd like to accept your trophy. There we go, thank you very much. Now, as Harry mentioned, it wasn't the easiest of seasons for Mercedes, but you pushed through nonetheless. What are some positives that you're hoping to take forward into 2024? Well, good evening, everyone. Um, I just want to wish everyone um, a big, big congratulations on this year. It's been amazing to see so many of you 
fighting in the different series that you've been in, and um, congratulations on your awards. Uh, yeah, for everyone, it's been a very, very long season and very much looking forward to a winter break, but working very, very hard on making sure we're fit, we come back strong next year. I uh, have to say a big congratulations to Red Bull and to Max and, and Checo. They've done an incredible job this year. Max was faultless. Uh, the team really raised the bar. And we have a lot of work to close that gap, but I, I truly am, do believe that we can close that gap. And so um, a big, big thank you also to my team because they never gave up this year. We started off with the sister, basically, of the previous year's car, which was not good and not fun to drive for most of the year. But um, no one gave up. Everyone continued to show up every day. And that was what was most inspiring for me. And so um, I hope that we come back next year and, and we give it everything. And I hope all of you do too. So um, yeah, I might not say anything, but just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and wish you a Happy New Year with your family and friends. And uh, we'll see you in a new year. Thank you very much, you. Lewis Hamilton. Your third place driver in Formula One this year. Now, uh, before we get on to our second place driver, we'd like to reintroduce the president of the FIA, Mohamed Ben Saleh. <laughs> Fantastic to have you back uh, with us, uh, Mr. President. Um, Thank you very much. Again? <laughs> Again? We just Again? love having you up on the stage. <laughs> well, I mean, how, how amazing has the Formula One Championship been this year from your perspective? How many? How amazing has the championship no, been? It's amazing. And it's also, uh, I think it was also tough on our uh, staff. But at the end, with all of the work you put in, the glory of the winners, the glory of its successful, so I really congratulate everyone. I mean, I just listened to uh, Lewis, how much he put in, and then he congratulated everyone. So that's the spirit of the sport. And I'm sure the young drivers, you know, it's, it's amazing. It's like a creation of stars. Stars comes, stars goes. And then to see uh, the age also of, um, um, of uh, Fernando is there, but it's still competitive. That shows you that the will is always there with the driver. So it was a very successful um, championship. Even with the things that we heard about the changes and the rules and all of this, this is all for the benefit of the sport. So I say congratulations to everyone. And again, you know, we will have the next year with better action and more action. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Mr. President. We'll hear from you a little later on. Uh, now, though, it seems like a good time and a congratulatory Applause as well. Thank you once again. And we'll move on to our second placed driver and to present the trophy. Please welcome back to uh, the stage the Formula One president and CEO, Stefano Domenicali. Welcome back, Stefano. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, let's go on to our second place driver then. His season began with two superb wins. One in Saudi Arabia and of course in Baku. Though he had a tough time at mid-season, he showed the resilience and determination that he's become famous for to take his best ever championship finish. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Sergio Perez. <laughs> Congratulations, Checo, and great to see you up here as well. Uh, now, of course, you took your, one of your wins here in Baku not too long yeah. ago. And, uh, I love Baku. And we love Baku. <laughs> and a sprint win as well. Obviously, some challenges this year too. Uh, but what are you doing ahead of 2024? Yeah, it was uh, obviously we started really strongly the year. Then we had a bit of a roller coaster mid-season. But uh, we didn't give up. We stayed together as a team. And I want to thank my, my whole team for supporting me and we, we went through very tough times but uh, we managed to secure the best season in the history of our team and uh, we've learned from those difficult moments and we will, we will come back next year stronger. Fantastic, we look forward to seeing it. Checo Perez everybody. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Also Stefano, right, where is the president, Mr. President? 
if you could please join us back on stage for our next prize, which is, of course, the winners of the 2023 Formula One Constructors Champions. Now it is Oracle Red Bull Racing, and to receive the trophy, team principal and CEO, Christian Horner. Well done, Christian, on a spectacular season. Thank you. Christian, congratulations. Um, now, obviously, a lot of the talk has been about Max Verstappen this season, what a dominant year he's had. But can we talk a bit more about the car and the team behind it as well, and just how much that has to work together to produce what we see on the track? Yeah, it's been the most amazing um, season for the team, breaking so many records this year, winning 21 out of 22 races and five out of six sprint race is something very very special so uh it's something that every uh you know man and woman within the team has contributed to behind the scenes um to achieve this level of of, of excellency and i think uh this award tonight is very much on behalf of all those men and women that we have within oracle rebel racing they've done such an amazing job to support both drivers and obviously Ian you know, max joins very much the grace today and uh um you know obviously a a big evening for us, a big year for us, and um, and hugely proud of what we've achieved. Absolutely. And now what happens now in between this very moment and pre-season testing? Are you hard at work or do you get a little bit of time off? Well, first thing is to get to the airport in time, but um, <laughs> uh, I think that, uh, you know, it's a busy, busy off-season for everybody. Formula One never really stops. And, uh, uh, you know, 2024 is already in everybody's eyes. Uh, now the cars are, uh, coming together as we speak and uh, the season will be up and running again you know in in just over six weeks time so it's uh, uh it's not a long off season not at all all right then well to give you your trophy please welcome back the president of the fia mohammed ben salayan hi fantastic work and Perfect. now we... well, the, uh, mr president there is the trophy <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, you, Mr. President, and thank well you. done, Christian Horner and Oracle Red Bull thank Racing and the much. entire team behind one of the most dominant cars in Excellent. Formula One history. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment is upon us. In 2023, he delivered the most dominant Formula One season in history with a record 19 Grand Prix wins, four sprint victories, 12 pole positions, and the sport's largest ever points total for a driver. With five rounds in hand, he won a simply lovely third world title. He did indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2023 FIA Formula One world champion, it's Max Verstappen. A massive congratulations and what a trophy to receive again for our three-time world champion Max Verstappen and the car behind him that he achieved it all in. A massive well done and Max, I mean, we bandy around stats left, right and centre this season. You join the three-time world champions club. Do you ever get a moment just to sit and reflect on what you've actually achieved this year? Uh, I mean, you know, of course, throughout the year, uh, we were on a, on a great roll and, um, you know, you want to perform every single time, every single race weekend. Um, I think it did hit me a little bit more once I was standing on the podium in, in Abu Dhabi. You know, you, you realize the season is over, you don't get to drive uh, this car anymore, unfortunately. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's been incredible. It's been a lot of, you know, just great fun as well to work with everyone. Of course, we all want to win. We want to, you know, do the best we can. But... When you're traveling around so much all over the world, you want to also do it with a great group of people. And uh, we definitely have that at Red Bull. So, um, yeah, extremely proud of what we have achieved this year. Um, but of course, I hope also it, it doesn't stop here. Fantastic work. Well, look, uh, ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for our 2023 Formula One world champion, Oracle Red Bull Racing and Max Verstappen. Congratulations. That, sorry, that, you know, he's, he's winning everything. Can you do something as the president of the FIE to slow him down or what? 
I said, how can I punish success? So I would say, well done. And then to more success for everyone, not just for you, to make it more interesting. So again, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, thank you. And I would like to uh, invite uh, Christian Horner, Mr. Anar Al-Akbarov, and Mr. Stefano Dominicali on the uh, stage, please. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. As uh, we continue the celebrations for the three-time world champion and to celebrate Formula One Thank you. in 2023. Can I have Christian? I, th I think Christian was already running off. <laughs> okay. And uh, Stefano? And we've got Stefano coming out. There they are. Here we go. There's one. Stick. We might get another in a minute. Come on out here. Plenty of room. Where, where's Stefano? Stefano? <laughs> he might join. He yeah. might join. Here he He's is. Here he is. He is. Thank you and very much. Absolutely. Lovely photo. Let's get a photo of, of that. that. Celebrating the 2023 FIA Formula One World Championship and it's 2023 champions Max Verstappen and Oracle Red Bull Racing. There we go. Congratulations and thank, thank you, you so very much. much, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Well, I think that almost uh, brings us to an end, Derek. I know. Would you believe it? We've made it to the end of this year's prize giving. Do you have fun up here? I had a lot of fun, Darren. A lot of fun all the way to the very end. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. President. <laughs> right. Um, I've loved every minute of it, absolutely. Um, but before we go, we have, we have some things to announce. Yes, we have the traditional family photo of champions. So, Harry, would you like to give a bit of a lowdown of how that's going to work? Uh, yes, so could we ask all of our prize winners to please come to the stage with your trophies? So all prize winners to the stage with your trophies, please. And we'll meet you up here. A uh, massive congratulations once again to all of our winners. They've made 2023 a truly memorable year. They have. And now all that's left is 2024, which we cannot wait to look forward to. Thank you very much. Good and night. Good night. There is a race none can win. No matter your skill or execution. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. No matter how hard you try. But if instead of looking to win, Approach it differently. If you control everything you can, while accepting anything you can't. If you disregard any and all opposition, focusing solely on your own way, if, whenever you need to, you don't hesitate to restart the clock. And leave to others the counting of its seconds. You may come to realize that, actually, it never was a race to begin with. And if it isn't a race, then you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. The Cosmograph Daytona.
As electric vehicle performance becomes more powerful, so do our tires. Electrified Hangu. Hangu Tire. Ion. Electrified Hangu Tire. As electrified vehicle driving becomes quieter, so do our tires. Electrified Hanguk. Hanguk tire. Ion. Electrified Hanguk tire. The future is open to those who take new turns turning stops into new starts. Turning mobility into journeys. Turning driving into experience. Turning performance into innovation. Turning brakes into energy. Turning energy into inspiration.